my thermos that I always put coffee in is on my dad's truck and my dad's at work. So I gotta use a mug today and I'm like really upset about it because I always forget that I have coffee when like it's in a mug and then it gets cold and then I spill it everywhere because I can't drink out of a mug. So that's that. Hello everybody, my name is Hannah and today I'm going to be doing a mini book haul. So I decided that instead of doing big book hauls every few months on this channel, I'd do mini ones, either like monthly or like whenever I get books. Just cause I don't buy books very often. And I know like book buying is a huge part of the booktube culture in a way, but like I'd rather spend my money on other things, if I'm being honest. I already have so many books up there that I haven't read yet, and I want to read those before I get more. I definitely used to want to buy books all the time, but I just, I just, I don't know. I just haven't been in the mood to do it at all lately. But nonetheless, I got a few books during the Cramathon, one of which is from the library. But I thought I'd show you all of those anyways. Should I do the library one first? I think I'm going to. I don't know why that feels awkward to me, but I got it before the other ones, so we're just gonna go with it. Anyways, this is Dress Code for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens. So I went to the um, library looking for an own voices queer novel, and my library LGBT section is so tiny, and so like I couldn't really find anything. But I saw this book, and I know that Haley read it from these book lines she used to have a channel and i like look up to her so much so i was like hey why not check it out and give it a read and so yeah i got this it should be a fun time i'm excited i think it's about this small town obviously because small town is in the title say what i don't know and i just like don't really want to know i just want to dive right in and so i'm excited to do that okay so this next book i got at target I was looking for a different book and they didn't have that different book so I got this book which is like fine. I'd been wanting this book since it came out, I just like hadn't been buying it because I'm me. Um, and that is The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one by Amanda Lovelace. I'm a huge fan of Amanda Lovelace and her poetry. I think she is an amazing person and her poems always speak to me so 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 much and so I got this and I'm not gonna say too much about my thoughts on it. I'll save that for my wrap up. But this is a very heavy book. Deals a lot with feminism and rape culture. Two things I am interested in. Two things that are very heavy topics. So, little warning. So next up I have the queer book I was looking for at the library and that is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. This is about this girl who's in her freshman year of college I think and she is going through a rough time. Her grandpa died and she had a really hard time coping with that because there was so much involved in it because like she lived with her grandpa and she like didn't have parents anymore. She never knew her dad and her mom had died and so there was a huge... Oh, who's texting me? Oh, it's Austin. I love you, Austin. You're my favorite. Okay. Um, anyways, it was a huge thing. The death of her mother and her grandfather was like a huge thing. And there were a lot of secrets being kept about it. And so we get to follow her as she's uncovering that with her old best friend, Mabel. And it's a really slow paced book, but I still like read it in like a few sittings anyways. Um, but yeah, it, it was heavy. I haven't seen too many people talk about it on booktube, but it might've been a book that was super popular when I kind of disappeared from the internet. So yeah, anyways, it was cool. It was fun. It was- it wasn't fun. It was really sad and heartbreaking. But I got it and I'm glad I read it. I feel like I'm like mumbling my words a lot and like I'm not using good diction. So my bad if like you couldn't tell what I was saying at all before this. The next book and the last book that I want to show you guys is Saba Tahir's A Torch Against the Night. So this is the sequel to An Ember in the Ashes which I read recently and completely like fell in love with um and so I'm so excited to continue on with this series. I got it at Barnes and Noble and it came with this super cute little bookmark and it says so long as you fight the darkness you can stand in the light so about to hear an ember in the ashes and it has this like little red string that's supposed to go in it but like I don't know I can't get it in right wait I think I've been doing it wrong wait 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 yes cool 
Um, but yeah, I don't use bookmarks. I dog ear my pages because I'm a monster. And so this will be a fun thing to start using. But yeah, that's that. I know this video is like a lot shorter than the rest of my videos, which is uh, fun, I guess. But I just don't have any more books to talk about that I've bought recently because I haven't been buying books. Um, and like buying these three stressed me out so much, but like I'm glad I did it. I don't know why. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna go now. Thank you all so, so much for watching. You can like and subscribe and comment if you want to do those things. My social media links are in the description box below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks again and goodbye. Fire, fire. I can't get that Halsey song stuck out of my head and I don't even know what song it is.